Hello everyone. In this video, we will see a demo on how to create onload client scripts. If you want to see a detailed video, what are client scripts and explanation of its types, please click on the top right corner. In this demo, we will be using two fields called contact type and email. The email field is a custom field. So I will be checking in my client script if the current logged in user is admin or non admin and make contact type as non mandatory for the admins and mandatory for non admins. Similarly, for the email field, I'll make it visible only for the admins and make it invisible for the non admins. Let's quickly jump to service now and uh, see a demo how to create a onload client script. Now we are in service now. I will go to the incident list. I will right click on any of the headers and I will say configure client scripts. I'll click on the new button to create a new client script and I will give the name as demo. Table name should be incident as we are writing a client script on incident table. We can select the UI type as desktop if we want only this client script to run on the web browser and if we want to run it on mobile and service portal as well we can select this second option and if we want to run in both we can select all. Let's keep it desktop as of now and then you can select the type. I will select onload and notice how in script this onload function came in automatically. Do not delete this and start writing your code within these braces. The inherited checkbox signifies that if the incident table is inherited by some other table, do you want this client script to run on that or not? And the global signifies if you want to run this client script on all the views of the incident form. If you want to run it on a single view, you can uncheck this and give the name of the view. Let's keep it global as of now. I will start writing the script. I will make it full screen and I will say if g underscore user to check the role of the user, we can use has role and I will give the name of the role as admin. And now if we put a negation sign in front of this function, now it will mean if the current logged in user is non admin, it will return true and it will go in this loop. And now I will say g underscore form dot set mandatory and I will need the field name here which is the backend name and I have to give it true or false accordingly. So for non admins I want to make it mandatory. I will go to the form I will right click on the contact type and I can see the backend name of contact type field as contact underscore type. So I will mention that in single braces here and I will make it true. So now according to this line for the non admins, this contact type field will be mandatory. Secondly, we will use g underscore form dot set display. You can use set visible as well, but I'm using set display because it will utilize this empty space and bring up the other fields. But in set visible, it will show that space as a blank space. So that doesn't look good. So I will use set display. And I have to give the backend name of the field again. I will go back to the form. I will right click on, on this and you can see u underscore email. It starts with u because it's a custom field as I have told you in the presentation. And I'll make it as false as I do not want to display this field to the non admins. There are other out of the box functions present for g underscore form. For example, if you want to make any field as set read only, if you want to add any info message on top, I will also just put an alert message for the non admins and I can say alert hello non admin. I will just format this code. I will save this client script. I'm currently logged in as system administrator. If I will go to an incident form and I will refresh this. So you can see contact type and the email are as it is because we have mentioned that in the code. If I impersonate as some ITI user, for example, user ITL and go to the same form and refresh. 
you will get an alert message called hello non admin and you can see contact type field is mandatory and the email field is not visible so this is how you can create on load line scripts i hope you like this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you